Yo, yo, what's good? And welcome back to another episode of Content Deleted, where I take you back to a time of Roblox history to explain something that has been removed from the site. Today, we will be talking about the trade currency. Now, what is, or better yet, what was the trade currency? Also referred to as the TC. To understand what the trade currency was, we will also need to understand what ticks were. Ticks were a form of almost free currency, which could be obtained by just simply logging into Roblox every day or getting other users to join your game. That's right, you used to get a certain amount of tickets every time a user joined your game. Ticks were later removed, and for a while there was no way of gaining any sort of currency for just having users play your game. So ticks were a sort of in-between currency that were worth usually around 10 times less at the least than one Robux. You could spend ticks on items in the catalog you can also use them to advertise a game. Now that you have a short explanation of what ticks were, there will be a whole video dedicated to ticks in the near future. But for now, we can move on to the trade currency. As I mentioned before, one Robux was usually worth at least 10 ticks, if not more. But at times, depending on where the demand was, there would be a spread. Sometimes there would be a higher demand for ticks, so people were offering at a rate that was in favor of the ticks, so in turn, people would offer one Robux for less ticks. But sometimes there would be a higher demand for Robux and it would be in favor of the Robux. So in turn, it would require more ticks per one Robux. One Robux for 10 ticks is just an example of the rate. Most people were trading for much larger amounts. Now these spreads allowed for users to make large gains off the trade currency. The more Robux or tickets you had, the more profit you could make. Much like how stocks go up and down in price, so did the trade currency. For example, the rate at one minute could be one Robux for 10 tickets, so at that time people would trade in their ticks for Robux. Let's do some math here. Say we started at 10,000 tickets. At a rate of one Robux for 10 tickets, we would trade those ticks in for 1,000 Robux. A couple minutes later, the rate changes in favor of Robux. So now one Robux is trading for 15 tickets. We would then trade our Robux back to tickets. 1,000 Robux would be exchanged for 15,000 tickets. We then wait a few more minutes for the rate to change in favor of tickets. And we trade those tickets back to Robux for a rate of one Robux to 10 tickets and go from 15,000 tickets to 1,500 Robux. We started the day with just 10,000 tickets, and in just a few trades, we traded our ticks for 1,000 Robux, then back to 15,000 tickets, and then back again to 1,500 Robux. Now this is just a small scale example. Imagine people doing this with much more currency. The more currency you had, the easier it was to make bigger trades for bigger profits. This was a very common practice back in the days of the trade currency. It wasn't at first, so the first people who noticed they could do this made the most. It later became such a popular way of making profit that it was eventually heavily botted, which made profits for regular users close to zero. Well now, you are up to date on the trade currency. This has been another episode of Content Deleted. See you all in the next one. Peace.